healing the left foot. A tatin. This is the whole yantra, and it is pronounced a tatin. A tatin. The a tatin yantra is inscribed on the feet. The ayanist healer will then trace the yantra symbols on the body part, slowly using their index finger. One symbolic inscription per second is usually an optimized traditional speed that has been passed down the generations, with the whole inscription completed in 40 to 60 seconds. The diagrams we will present show roughly the position the inscription should be placed. You do not have to be exact, as the energy is very strong and powerful enough to travel to the surrounding areas. We have put a nominal ordering in the following diagrams on how the strokes should be performed. It is usual for the ayanist to inscribe the symbols from down to up and right to left. Some ayanists believe that the order of the inscription is important, whilst others believe that it is the overall message conveyed that is the key, so order is irrelevant. As you perform many healings you will gradually become attuned to the lokas, or planes of reality, and the spiritual resonant energies of Brahman, and will see the path of writing yourself. You will find your own path to the inscriptional power, and become free to write at will. The ad symbols are mirrored, so the nominal order is from up to down and left to right and we will show this in the diagrams. But again, we have to reiterate, most ayanists believe that the healer has to find their own path and order. Whatever order you feel comfortable with, you must remember to perform each stroke slowly. This is because of the powerful resonant energies that can open up as the locus come closer to our plane of reality. Note, if you or your client do not wish physical contact, you can also trace just above the body part. Here is the order of how the orthodox ayanist would perform the inscriptions. We will remain silent now, as we show you the order. Please feel free to pause the video on each diagram. We will begin narrating again, when we have presented all the inscriptions. As you slowly trace the inscriptions onto the body part, imagine the lokas, dimensions or planes, being brought closer to this one, and feel, or visualize the resonant energy transfer between the planes and this one. As there is no human concept on how the planes manifest themselves, the ancient ayanists used to visualize warm golden areas emanating from the planes, surrounding both the healer and the client, streaking forth golden energy into the inscriptions and around the client's body merging with their physical body and soul form. Another method is to visualize the golden energy in each stroke you perform on the client's body, and that energy then emanating forth and dissipating into the affected areas and bathing it in golden light. Please note, some ayanists of different schools believe that the visualization part is meaningless, as the inscriptions themselves hold the keys to unlocking the doorways to the planes. One can also chant the mantra of a taught yin, a taught yin as you perform the inscriptions. The mantra links with the yantra and is another means to gain resonance. 
Again, Samayanists believe that just the inscriptions are important, but others believe both Mantra and Yantra are. We will leave it to your Ayanist judgment to determine the way forward. Ayanism is about finding one's own path, so do what you think is the most comfortable. You will find your own way after several healings.